Hello. If you're watching this video, chances are you've run into problems getting the One Lone Coder Pixel Game Engine to work using code blocks on Windows. Before we get started, this is a follow-up to a previous tutorial which installs and configures MinGW. If you are not aware of MinGW, or haven't followed my tutorial to install it, I recommend you do so, because without it, this tutorial is kind of pointless. With that out of the way, here's a general overview of the things we'll be doing in this video. First, we're going to gather a few required files. Head to the Pixel Game Engine GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Download the olcpixelgameengine.h header file, as well as the olc examplegameengineh source file. Now we're going to download code blocks by going to their website. The link is in the description below. Go to the Downloads tab in the Navigation menu. Then go to Download Binary Release. Here you can download the latest version from FossHub or from SourceForge. It's entirely up to you. At the time of this video, the latest version is 20.03. Now that we have all of our files downloaded, we're ready to install code blocks. Navigate to where you downloaded the installer and launch it. You can leave everything at the defaults and click through the installation dialogs. When it's finished installing, it will ask you if you want to run code blocks. Click yes. A dialog will appear showing you the compilers that it has detected on your system. On my system, the only one that is installed is MidGW, which shows up in code blocks as the GNU GCC compiler. This is normal. If it detects multiple compilers, it's important that you select the GNU GCC compiler to be your default. Click OK to proceed. Next, you'll be greeted by a dialog asking you if you want code blocks to associate with C and C++ files. I'm going to select No, leave everything as it is. However, you can make whatever choice makes sense for your situation. These settings can be modified later on, so don't worry about making the wrong decision here. Once you've made your choice, click OK to proceed. Next, we'll verify the compiler and toolchain settings by going to the Settings menu and selecting Compiler. Now go to the Toolchain Executables tab. If everything has gone well, it should already be set to your compiler's directory and have all of the program's files filled in and ready to use. In the previous tutorial, if you chose to install MSYS2 to another location, you may need to manually set it here. Once you've got the settings right, click OK. With code blocks configured, we need to test it to see if it's working properly. And what better way to do that than actually get started with our Pixel Game Engine example project? Now, many of the options and settings available when setting up a project are outside of the scope of this tutorial. However, if you want to learn more, there is quite a lot of documentation and tutorials available on the internet. I invite you to consult the Oracle of Wisdom that is Google to learn more on your own. But in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the exact steps required to get our test project up and running. First, go to the File menu, select New, and then select Project. Select Empty Project and click the Go button. Click Next. Set the project title to OLC Example Program. Choose a folder to put the project in. This can be wherever you like, but it's important to remember where it's located, as we will be copying some files there shortly. Confirm the resulting file name to ensure that it's where you want the project to be located. Once you're happy, click Next. Leave everything here at Default Settings and click Finish. Now we're going to copy the example program source and the Pixel Game Engine to our project folder. From the project pane on the left side of the screen, right click our project and select Add Files. From the dialog that appears, select the source file and the header. Here I'm using the shift click method to select multiple files. 
However, if you prefer, you can add each file individually. When you have the file or file selected, click the Open button. Click OK to dismiss the Multiple Selection dialog. From the project pane, you'll notice that it now can be expanded. Let's go ahead and expand them to reveal the structure below. Under Sources is our OLC Example Program C++ file. Under Headers is our Pixel Game Engine header file. Double click the Pixel Game Engine header file to open it and scroll down until you find the comments about compiling and code blocks on Windows. At this time, that is located near line 84. However, in future versions, this may change. We can see here that Javit has provided some very helpful instructions. Among those instructions is a list of libraries we need to link against. We'll be using these shortly. From the project pane, right click on our project and select Build Options. In the dialog that appears, on the left pane, make sure you click on our project. This will ensure that the changes we make to the compiler flags and link settings will be applied to every build, whether it's debug or release. On the right side, in the Compiler Settings Compiler Flags tab, find Have G++ Follow the C++ 17 ISO C++ Language Standard and check the box to the right of it. Find Static Lib STD C++ and check the box to the right of that. And finally, find Static Linking and check the box to the right of that. Strictly speaking, the static linking settings are optional. However, if you plan to send your program to other people, it's useful as it makes it so you don't have to package your executable with a bunch of DLLs. Now we go to the Linker Settings tab. We'll add each of the libraries listed in the Pixel Game Engine header file. Once you've added each of the libraries, click OK to dismiss the dialog. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Build our project by using the Build menu and selecting Build. Alternatively, you can click on this little cogwheel in the toolbar. They do the same thing. You can see the output of the compiler in the Build log. If it compiled with no errors, then you can run the program by going to the Build menu and selecting Run. Alternatively, you can click on the green Play button located next to the cogwheel. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. See ya!